<coughs> I'm so excited to get on the range and press the trigger. I'm just to check out that little wing thing. I'm gonna fucking send it with those guns today. I put one with Cicado. You bring them on? Yeah, I'm bringing Cicado. XC with the little wing thing. How much just start getting used to it? Yeah. Show me. Come on. You haven't been here for one of these yet. No, first one. Okay. So we do them in collections now. We used to do them like month to month. I'm gonna go through them, kind of soup the nuts. So burn the ships, the second iteration of it. We did it last year. Yeah, I remember. So you know what burn the ships is for you, but yeah. it was like a fan favorite. Everyone went ballistic over it. So now we kind of swapped it out and we combined a couple different drops in the singular one. So nocturnal professionals, obviously everything predatory, the apex predators that hunt at night. Yep. We kind of took a spin on that and then combined with burn the ships just to make it a bigger collection. Because a lot of it, it flash sales out so fast and yep. people get pissed. It's like, well, you can't make everybody happy, so what can we do? Just a bunch of different offerings. So burn the ship's dad hats, black truckers, black and red, um, the Nalgene bottle. Yeah. Like, see, everybody loves these things. Like we used to always have them on the teams. Yeah. But it's like Josh did such a cool image on it. Yeah. Like, it's so iconic. He's it's, changed the burn the ship's logo ever so slightly. It's slightly different from the old one. There's a couple of small differences, right? Yeah, like get into them in a second, but it's really trying to combine that nocturnal professional yeah. and the burning the ships. So the colorway is different and yeah, we'll kind of go through the whole piece, but you know, burning the ships that ultimate commitment before yeah. you go limit your options, narrow your focus. We're committing, we're going the entire way. And for a lot of guys, especially in the first Q1, it's like everybody makes these new year's resolutions. Everybody. Now, it's like now that we're hitting February, it's a reinvigoration. Yeah. The things you said you were going to do, stick with them, burn the ships, commit all the way. You met these guys in SHOT Show. I did. Anti Watch Watch Clubs. Yeah, they're cool, cool Super people. cool stuff. We're doing a band with them. Limited pieces. I think 150 of them. Doing 20 and 22 millimeter. Yep. So it fits the Rolex. I've got one on there. The 22 will fit on Panerai. But it's cool. You know, raise money for those guys. They do a bunch of stuff. They donate gear and training opportunities for law enforcement dudes. Yep, that's really so cool. So we're going to do a couple more fundraisers to try to help those guys out. They don't get enough support as it is. So. No, it's well made, that. Yeah. Nice color, too. Yeah. I mean, everything. OD Green's super tough. What I do like, sorry, before you touch them on them stickers, I like the fact that you've gone away from just on this one from the multi-cam black on the caps. Yeah. I think it's nice to just have something that isn't, I could, you can wear that for date night. Exactly. Do you see what I'm saying? And not everything has to be tactical and multi-cam black, so I quite like that that yeah. change. Still like multi-cam black though. Did uh, sticker packs this year. Street Burn the Ships. GPNVG. That's actually taken from a, uh, from a training trip we did. Something else we did, well, we did this canvas prints. Those things are numbered one through 200. Limited run of 200. Limited run of 200. So it's the same image. When you throw up on the wall, you can really get a, a yep. look for it. Dude's got his dangle on, he's got a shot tube. He's initiating it, blowing the bridge. It's through the panos. Like it just, it's got one of those subtle, like if you know, you know. So yep. when you throw it on the wall, 90% of the people won't get it. The ones who do, that's really the ones you want. There's 200 people that can appreciate exactly what that is. Yep. Exactly the lens you're looking through. The, the boys have been working on this, so this came basically just from the creative team. Josh, Ryan, Colin, Manny, Davis, Tyler, all the boys. Basically, it's a it's a compilation of the last year and a half, year and some change, like their favorite their favorite photos. Center of interest, so 500 of these things. But a lot of them are just like uh, captions and quotes we've wrote down over the years. Yep. And kind of just what they mean to us. That's smart. Oh, dude, it's super cool. Just like some of the photography in here, these dudes just killed it. Yeah. And what do you say? There's 500 of these. 500 of those. You doing another run of them, or is it just one run? I think just one run for now, and then maybe swap it out for, for another year. AOR1 looks good on the back. It does, dude. The AOR1's tough. So for, like, shirts, it, that print came out really good. We've been washing, wear testing them. They haven't been cracking. They've been holding up really well. So that's a pretty clean image. And obviously moon phase on the back. Yeah, I like it. Waxing and waning, I love it. Yeah, but like, if you know, you know. So we did that in a short sleeve. I like the fact that you've dispelled a common myth. Most people think that when you look through four tubes, you see four. You don't. You only ever get the three. <laughs> exactly. I've always got a slight gap in mine as well, just uh -huh. ever so slightly. Yeah. Because my eyes are super close together, so yep. I have to like bring them right in to get the focus. And like little sleeve hits. That's nice. Right. Yeah. Small, small. And if you get it, you get it. It's the entire month. Yep. progressed out for exactly what it'd be a lot of people like the true nocturnal professionals they all get it and then well when your life revolves around an loom cycle you kind of get attached to it right exactly so lunar phases short sleeve that's really cool yeah mono duels quads uh, and i like the fact that there's somebody for everyone there because not everyone's got 
four tubes. Exactly. Let me check out. Is that mm -hmm. second that? We did it in two different colorways, two different short sleeves, did the OD green, did the black, and then again trying to hit kind of that white foss color. It contrasts out just enough, but it's not too it's not so loud that it takes it away. I think it blends in really well. I think the black and the well, whatever we're calling that, it looks really smart, it looks really clean, and That's even even on the green I don't think it, it's offensive. No. You need a good shot of the all the small little nuances. So now all the stars are in it, the moon, the bat. The hammerhead's been swapped out. The color scheme's different. And all the people. White t-shirt, DJ. But I don't wear white t-shirts unless I cut, cut the sleeves off. But yeah. they've been asking. And I'll tell you what, dude. This shirt on. If you saw Joey at SHOT Show. It, looked it looks so good. Yeah, really Especially does. when you get a dude who's got like a, a turtle shell back. The way it stretches out. It looks good, dude. It looks really good on Bonnie. And then everybody's favorite. Knocked out the hoodie. Yeah. How thick is that? Let me feel that one. It, dude, it, oh, it, yeah, good. It's just enough. Like it's not a lightweight hoodie, but it's yeah. not that super heavy one where you can't do a full day in the gym in it. Yeah. Because you're sweating so much. Yeah. Yeah, quality on these things came out great. The print quality is on on point. Yeah, overall, man, like Burn the Ships has been like a super nostalgic collection. Everybody ate it up when it first came out. And then it was, you know, it's one of those universal messages that not a lot of people think about. Yep. Yeah. Like when you hear Burn the Ships. I don't know, for me, it's like, it's one of those common things you hear, but you never really stop and think about it. Like, what does it mean when I'm burning the ships? Mm. I am limiting my options right now. I can't be looking at plan B. I can't run forward if I'm always looking for a way out. It's like, sometimes I just have to cut that out of my process right now, and I just need to singly focus on this one thing at 100% commitment, hammer all the way down and send it. Like, that's burning the ships, and I feel like if more people just did that, yeah. stop looking for the exit. Just stop. Just go all the way in. So... When you get a bunch of like-minded people wearing the same stuff, it, it promotes it. It tells them, like, you're not the only one who's burning the ships right now. We're all doing it. I did. When it's like, right, there is no going back. There is no plan B. Oh, well, I don't have to worry about all those things, those hypothetical things that could have happened. Now I can just focus on exactly what I need to do. No, yeah. I love it, mate. No, yeah, I just want to walk you through it. I mean, you're going to be here for the rest of it, so you'll see the more collections. But just so you know the method behind the madness when kind of lay everything all out. Yep. It's a bigger collection, not just week after week. Just yep. Kind of bundle them all, but more that universal approach. Like when you see people wearing burn the ships, they know what it is. Yeah. Like they're on the same train you are. They're trying to commit. They're trying to connect to their process and go the entire way. So. Yeah, you, man. Don't, you don't have to be a tactical guy for that to resonate either. No. I, I think that resonates for everybody. No, nah, man, a universal message. Cool. Appreciate you, dude. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that.